Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's a special pleasure to welcome you all to this UN high-level reception. This reception aims to promote education for sustainable development and the role of public-private partnership. I would like to thank Peace Islands Institute for organizing the reception in partnership with the Journalists and Writers Foundation. As the Journalists and Writers Foundation, we find inspiration in the ideas of our funding and honorary chairman, Fethullah Gülen, in working towards peace building and sustainable development throughout the world. As a prominent thinker and intellectual, he lays out the basic principles of achieving sustainable development by focusing on the human element and particularly on the establishments of educational institutions at different levels. Sustainable development can be achieved by educated citizens with diverse socioeconomic backgrounds who have a will to build a common prosperous future for all. The Journalists and Writers Foundation believes that educational institutions need, need to be encouraged primarily because of their contribution to the culture of peace and development in their respective localities. We encourage private sector to support educational initiatives as social responsibility projects and establish nonprofit schools worldwide. In this education model, the schools provide secular education following the national curricula in each, other, in each country they are established. They accept students from all ethnic, religious, cultural backgrounds, enabling the students to experience living in a pluralistic society in their school in an environment Availability and accessibility of education are necessary but not sufficient conditions for sustainable development. Quality education is crucial for economic development, social inclusion, and environmental sustainability and good governance. These nonprofit schools and institutions supported by public and private sectors have deep emphasis on math and science innovation, and technology. Hundreds of students are awarded medals in international science and math olympiads and project competitions related to environmental challenges every year. In addition, the schools have played a role of social mediator in conflict region where students and parents from different signs of conflict interact with each other building a path for peace. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, the focus of the United Nations Development Goals has been on universality and accessibility of primary education. It is clear that the quality of these and subsequent levels of education plays a vital role to enhance sustainability in economic social and environmental development. We aim to underline the importance of this and strengthen the awareness that public-private partnership model in education has been a cornerstone of the quality education delivered to the children, supported by the governments and administered by NGOs. The school model provides a rigorous curriculum that prepare students to be competitive in local, national, and international levels. We believe that the political, economic, and legal regulations for sustainable development and peace can never have a lasting effect. If the people are not educated in universal values like human rights, freedom of expression, equal opportunity, and peaceful coexistence. In conclusion, peace is not sustainable without development, and development is not sustainable without education, and this, that is why we have a strong emphasis on education 
and encourage private sector to be philanthropic, to establish education institutions to give back to the society. Thank you for your attention.